tired too. Oh, it looks like it's kind of a dreary day outside too. Let's go look out in the backyard. Looks like the trees are all changing colors and stuff. Look at that. Once it focuses. Look at those trees. All kinds of different colors already. Leaves everywhere. I mowed the lawn yesterday, so the lawn looks good at least. Trying to keep busy while my truck is in the shop. Running out of things to do. <laughs> Actually, no I'm not. There's always something to do. I gotta clean the floors because Diesel likes to leave little bits of himself everywhere. Little fur balls there and fur balls here. I vacuum them up. And I still do need to set up these two rooms. I keep saying like every day, this is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna clean up that room and clean up that room. Hasn't happened yet. <laughs> So they should be dismantling my truck, or my truck should actually be dismantled today already. They should have the hood off, uh, the bumper off, and anything else that's busted off, and the new hood, it's actually a used hood that they got from a wrecker, I think that's in really good shape. Uh, that hood should be there today, the new bumper should be there. Uh, they're gonna paint them, and then they're gonna install them. So, if I'm super, super duper kind of super lucky, we might even have a truck, what is it, tomorrow? afternoon but not very likely don't get your hopes up it'll probably be end of monday or tuesday wednesday somewhere in there anyways so i'm gonna get going just getting my day going here just showered and keep ourselves busy another day we'll be on the road soon again guys yeah Yes. It was broken, then mom fixed it on her birthday thing there. You can even hear it in the vlog. <laughs> I heard it late and I just left it in there. Uh, Dad was playing guitar, mom's in the background. I fixed it! I fixed your coffee maker! We can have Timmy's! <laughs> so she fixed it for me, thanks mom. Now I can have my Timmy's. Isn't that good? Just farts out of coffee for you. You better fill that cup right up, man. I don't mess around with my Timmy's. Just trickling out. I had some extra decals lying around uh, that I didn't use on the truck. So I put them on my car, right on the back. Whew. See? And then I got this one over there too. Pretty cool, eh? and don't forget. Ooh. Yeah. So, now I gotta sit here and hold this the whole time. Gotta get that fixed yet. Not at the top of my priority list. Absolutely not. I don't care. Close this, it works. There we go. Beautiful. Let's go inside without letting any flies inside. How about that? Why is it so dark? So yeah, that's uh, these decals I put on the back of the car. I don't know. I had nowhere else to put them really, and I had an extra ones, so why not? What did you do? What did you do to your sign, man? I went out for a little bit to explore the area with a friend here, and he ripped his sign. You owe me two dollars, young man. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care if he rips the sign as long as he doesn't rip up my furniture. He's on a probationary status right now. Uh, I have begun to trust him to be loose in the house while I'm not here, like I was telling you for a few hours, right? During the day, what are you doing, man? What are you, look at this, your butt's in the air and you're like, what are you doing? Yeah, so he's on probation. Uh, as long as he doesn't rip up anything or wreck anything in the house, I'll trust him to be alone in the house for longer and longer. Because uh, that's how I want it to be, right? I want him to be loose. I don't want him to be locked in a room when I'm not here. And I also want him to be able to guard the house so that if people come to the door, they see, oh, there's a big dog in there and he's loud and barking. Right, Diesel? Because he does bark when I'm not here. You should hear his angry bark. I can't get him to do it on command, though. Wanna go play some fetch, man? Wanna go play some fetch? 
Look at that face. Who can say no to that face, man? Well, you can tell hockey season is coming up here because I'm on Rogers Live Chat. Uh, it's I'm with Rogers Wireless. It's my cell phone provider, just like Verizon. And I can't seem to get logged into my Rogers One number, which would let me use my internet signal here to use my phone for text and talk, right? So, uh, I log in here. First thing she says, her name is Sandra. Like, you're chatting with Sandra Rogers. Thank you for choosing Rogers, the new home of hockey. You've reached Sandra. I can't seem to log into my Rogers One number. Uh, that's funny. It's almost hockey season, guys. Time to dust off the skates, get them ready. All right, guys, I know, not cool to wear my helmet off the bike. Just wanted to sort of give it away what I was going to be doing right away. We're going to be going for uh, a little tour. I don't know where yet. I don't know if we'll stick around here, or we might go to Steinbach. Uh, we'll see. We're going to go ride around anyways, and I'm going to take you guys with me. So let's go have some fun. creek here off to our right is Stony Brook. It's what Steinbeck was founded on. It used to be more of a brook, now it's more of a ditch. Steinbeck is German for Stony Brook, and that's the Stony Brook. I'm assuming there was more stones in there at one point, and it was more of a brook. <laughs> this is the heart of the city. Off the left here. Oh, they redid that park. Look at that. Man, it would be awesome to be a kid in these days. They got such cool play structures. When I was a kid, man, we had all those like homemade wood structures that, you know, if you slide down it wrong, you get a massive sliver. You had the balance beams with no ropes so you could fall and crack your head open. Oh, yeah. Those are the ones I'm used to. So this is Reimer Avenue, and what am I on? Elmdale? Yeah. So off to the left you got Steinbach Arena. There's two of them. Three of them, I think. I don't know, they're building something new here again. Always oh, building something new. Looks like they're redoing the T.G. Smith Arena, which is the second one. I can still remember when they built it. Look at that. Huh. Very nice. As I almost stall. So I can show you the places where I used to live in. See if I can find them. Uh, this way, I think. Oh. Oh, bump, bump, yep, yeah. mm-hmm. Okay, somewhere back here, 
there's an apartment building that I used to live in a few years ago. It was right across from the thrift store, which is very handy. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the camera as steady as possible on my chin here, but I still got to look both ways, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, there it is. It's up, up ahead, across the street on the left with the green balconies. left one that I used to live in one of those one of those top ones that's one of the places I used to live I rented there the rent was pretty decent and reasonable what's going on over here what in the hunt what am I supposed to do here what the road is closed Okay, well then the road's closed. Alright now. Well, let's turn around then. We'll go see the other uh I used to rent out a basement. Well I used to rent a basement. It wasn't my basement, I rented it. I'll go show you the house. Here I come. I think this is the street. Yeah, Hanover Street. This is where I used to live as well at a different time in my life. gear there but all right high of a gear whatever where is it it's one of these houses on the right oh they redid it this house right here it did not look that nice when I lived there wow yeah I used to rent the basement there uh, that was a few years ago too it's a nice place, very nice landlord, but uh, the sound between the upper floor and the second floor, or like my floor, the basement and the main floor, there was like no soundproofing, so you could hear every single little thing that the husband and wife were doing late at night. feel weird driving past the daycare with my cameras on. That's just kind of creepy, isn't it? So this is a familiar street for me. We're on Craker Avenue. Just after the street on the right, the second house where my grandparents used to live while I was growing up. Right in that one there. Spent a lot of time there at Grandma and Grandpa's house. best friend used to live in this red house here on the corner. They lived right around the corner from Grandma and Grandpa, so that worked out well. But I've just realized something. School is letting out. I feel kind of weird driving around by the schools with my cameras. That, that, that's probably just sending the wrong message. I'm going to turn the cameras off and just go wander around. Well, I just got home. Parked her in the garage, letting her cool off before I put her away completely. 
Which way do I turn this to get in here? There we go. Let me in my house. This is my house. Diesel weasel. Diesel weasel. Lock that, lock this, lock that. Yeah, I'm walking around off my bike with my helmet on. What? <laughs> you look scary with that thing on, man. I know, Diesel. I did it on purpose just to scare you. How does it make you feel? <laughs> Quite well, actually. Thank you. I was wondering if we could play a game of fetch. That would be my... That would be my greatest thing that could happen to me today. With this? Didn't we leave this outside? How did it get inside? You want to go outside and play fetch with this? With this? Oh, very much. Please, I really like to. With this. Stop asking me, man. Let's just go. All right, okay, fine. We'll go outside. Put a helmet on and everything. Just because you guys are attached to my helmet, so I'm going to leave you guys attached. Come on, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want it? You want it? Go get it. Good boy. Don't forget to bring it back. That's right, the most important part. I'm over here, bud. Diesel. Thought you wanted to play fetch, man. Come here. Good boy. No, no, no. You forgot to leave the toy here. Give me the toy. Give, give, give me the toy, man. Ready? Oh, out of mid-air, a boy. All right, so I am tired. End of the day. Uh, so we got to explore a little bit of the area today. Uh, what else did we do? We went to Steinbach today, toured around a little bit, gave you a little brief little uh, look back into previous places where I used to live. Uh, came back here, we got some organizing done, even though it doesn't look like it. Uh, we still got the office going on here and that going on there. And it's just tomorrow though, I want to get up and completely settle into the house. I want to get those two rooms unpacked tomorrow. Have I said that every single day so far? I think I have. <laughs> so that is the plan once again tomorrow. We'll see how far we get with that. I got a good feeling about it though. Time is now, what does it say over there? 12.20 in the morning. Tomorrow, it's another day. Waiting for the truck to get fixed. Soon we'll be back on the road and then there will be so many trucking vlogs you won't know what to do with them. Because we're not gonna be home for a long time because we need to catch up on everything. So thanks for your support guys. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. I don't make anything off it, but it makes me feel good, makes me want to make another video, and sort of makes me feel better because my truck is in the shop right now and I can't make trucking videos. Smash that thumbs up button, guys, and I will see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. 